Hi guys. So, it's been over a year now, I think, since I made my last video. And I've never sat down and explained everything that happened to me that made me want to stop making videos, as well as a bunch of other things. So I felt like, because of some things that are happening now, that it might be time to draw a line under everything that happened and get it all out there. The reason that I'm making this video is not for attention. I don't want to... I don't want any sympathy for this and I don't want people to worry about me because I feel like I'm, I'm out of danger. But maybe someone who is in a similar position, maybe one single person who will watch this will be in a similar position and will will watch the video and maybe maybe think twice before they do the same thing and that's enough for me so for that reason um i'm not going to i'm not going to read all the comments on the video i'm not going to i'm not going to prevent people from making comments because it's the internet and you're allowed to have your opinion say what you want to say cruel not cruel whatever say what you want to say basically but I don't feel like I want to go down the rabbit hole of of going through those comments and torturing myself with the really cruel ones because they do get to me. I think you'd have to be a robot for them not to get to you and they do get to me. So, um, there's... I'll try and keep swearing to a minimum because I understand some people don't like it, but there is going to be some, um, I guess, slightly depressing, maybe even graphic um, discussion of difficult things in this video. And if you're not, if you're not the kind of person who wants to hear that, then you're free to leave. You don't have to watch. But if you'd like to stay and listen to what I have to say about what I've been through and maybe support some people who are going through the same thing, then fantastic you're more than welcome um and thank you for taking the time to watch this far if you decide to leave now and maybe you'll come and watch something that i've already made or if i make anything else in future so um i stopped making youtube videos especially often around about the middle of um 2013 um after Twilight wound down at the end of 2012 and the last convention started to, to happen at the beginning of 2013, I had moved house. I had lost touch with a lot of my friends from Twilight, um, people that I've met from conventions and, and events and, and whatnot, and YouTube and so on. Um, and this was all... This was all a lot to take on at once. Um, I've struggled with depression and anxiety since I was in my early teens. Um, I now know that it, it, it comes from not being able to deal with the criticism that I give myself and that I am my own worst enemy at times. And I'm working on that with help. I'm 30 now and I don't want my life to become nothing. I don't want YouTube to be the only thing that I ever did. Even though I'm proud of it. And I wouldn't change any of it for, for anything. I want to do something else. Something more. So the first step to that is working on my problems. So. Um, I started to have panic attacks. Around about February, March of 2013. Um, I was living in a new place that I didn't know. There weren't very many people nearby that I knew especially well that I felt like I could go to with those particular problems. Um, and I had recently fought with my parents and I didn't feel like... I had a strong desire to be independent to push through and survive by myself, as I've seen so many of my loved ones and friends do so many times, and I thought, I can do that. I can get through this. So what? Twilight's over. I can do this. But because I didn't have that 
to lean on because I didn't have videos to make every week or every day because I didn't have that next convention to look forward to because I didn't have the premieres to go to or the TV appearances to deal with or the YouTube comments to read all the time and fight against the fight literally went out of me and I began to be incredibly lonely um I didn't have any other hobbies to turn to because Twilight was all I'd ever really done and as probably quite a lot of you predicted um I became incredibly withdrawn and depressed um in August of 2013 the panic attacks got really really bad and I didn't understand fully what they were until it was explained to me which was by then too late and one day when I was walking to work I had a particularly bad panic attack because I was running late it was a hot day I was nervous I was tired it was just a multitude of things all at once and I started crying in the middle of the street turned round, got on the first bus to go back home even though I was supposed to be going to work I just went I just left I had to get away and when I got on the bus I sat down and I took two packs of prescription strength ibuprofen by the time I got home I felt sick and I was terrified I was regretful of what I'd done and I made myself sick and then I told my stepdad what I'd done um, and got the medical attention that I needed and I'm, I'm obviously okay now everything's everything's physically fine um I went into therapy and I went into um I, I went to the doctors and I went into therapy and they, they I was put on antidepressants. Um, I was tried on beta blockers to try and slow my heart rate down so that the, the hyperventilation wouldn't be such a problem and that I might be able to control my panic attacks by by exercising mindfulness and essentially meditation to try and help me get through it when it when it when I felt it was gonna happen. Um the panic attacks kept getting worse and I got more and more withdrawn. I I was signed off work for three months and then my my job told me that I wasn't welcome to come back because I was essentially off so much time that they, they needed to hire someone else, which is completely understandable. And I lost my job. So I became um I became reclusive. I didn't leave the house. I started playing World of Warcraft all the time because I didn't have anything else to do. Um and I I shut myself away for three years. It's not been a simple three years, but I have had friends who've gotten me through it. And I have finally, I think now, reached the light at the end of the tunnel, I hope. I start my new job on the 24th of April. And it's the first job that I've had since I left work. And I've got a really good really good circle of friends and family around me who I love, who I feel like they support me and they understand me and they love me. I'm allowing myself to be more me. I don't hold back from things that I want to do anymore. Don't try and pretend to be something I'm not. And I I feel like I owe all of that to my friends and my family. And I wouldn't have gotten through that if it wasn't for them. There have been times when I've looked online for support, when I've been alone, when it's been a late night. And all I found, because it's me, and when you Google me, you find Encyclopedia Dramatica, and that hurts. It it hurts, even now, a lot that there is someone out there who spent their time typing and wording and, and scripting a website filled with cruelty towards me or a web page it's horrifying and i don't understand why anyone wants to do that but if that person feels they need to do that to try and make themselves feel better then i'm sorry that i'm their target but i understand so all is forgiven every single one of you who told me to an hero who told me to kill myself, I tried. Every single one of you who told me to fuck off and die, 
every single one of you who sent me a nasty message or a nasty email with my address in it, with my parents' names in it, telling me that they were going to do things to my pets or my parents' pets or send things to our houses. You won. But I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still living. And those are not the same things. And I'm a hell of a lot stronger now than I used to be. I don't think I've, I don't think I'd have been able to make this video three years ago without crying my eyes out. But I don't feel the need to cry anymore because crying is something that you do when you're upset and sad. And right now I am happy and positive and looking forward to my future. A future which I wouldn't have had if it wasn't for that circle of friends around me pushing me to do better and be better. So, if anyone has watched this and it's resonated with you and you want to talk to me or ask me anything, I don't mind if you want to ask me anything, that's fine. Um, my Twitter is at Nutty Madam. Um, I also have a public Facebook page. If you search for Nutty Madam on Facebook, it'll come up. Um, and I have an Instagram, which I occasionally check, but that's not usually the best way to get in touch with me. If you want to contact me by email, my email is nuttymadam at gmail.com. Um, I check it a lot and I will reply as quickly as I can. But Twitter is probably the, the quickest way to get my attention if you need to speak to me. If you just want some advice, if you just want someone to listen to, someone to talk to, I'm here. Um... Thank you for watching, and thank you for watching any of my other videos that you've watched. And seeing as I don't know if I'll ever make another video after this, just in case I do decide to disappear off YouTube for the rest of my hopefully very long life. Thank you, it was magical, and I love you all very, very much. All of you. Every last single one of you. I love you. Bye-bye.